did a song called Bossa Bubla. Sean Paul Grammy nominated album last year. I was a producer on that too. Wow. Uh, track one was produced by myself, Bossa Bubble. So Bossa Bubble for me, cause trouble for me. Split down from the floor, from the double for me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Ask you a question. Uh, going back to uh, Sean Paul and you guys, uh, and you get Sean Paul, I'm my dance all king. Correct. And you get that. You, you guys get you. You win the Grammy together. Um, have you spoken to Sean Paul? Uh, did any work with Sean Paul after you guys won of that Grammy? Of course. Of course. Uh, what other What other songs did you guys do together? I record a song named "It's Your Birthday." I even did a song called Bossa Bubla. Sean Paul Grammy nominated album last year. I was a producer on that too. Wow. Uh, track one was produced by myself, Bossa Bubble. So Bossa Bubble for me, cause trouble for me. Split down from the floor, from the double for me. Um, Sean Paul also linked me up with Brazilian singers to do productions and all pr Brazilian producers. Sean Paul is a great human being. Wow. I love Sean Paul. <laughs> because Sean Paul is not one of the big superstars where go on like him better than people. Sean Paul texts my phone sometimes just to check up on me. That's because y'all got a Grammy together. No. He don't do that with everybody. But, but, but I've worked with artists that um, blow up and they don't do that. They don't have a Grammy with that but artist. They, but they got hit records. Oh, but they got hit records. Yeah. And they just don't but even... They don't do that. Wow, so he make himself pretty much accessible I, once I work with, with you. Wayne, I work with Wayne Wanda, another great. You did? Yeah, Wayne Wanda is a, is, I'm a brother that, I'm a big brother that, I'm a mentor. Wayne Wanda is a man who call me, check up on me when we talk on the phone. Two hours, three hours sometime. Yeah. Spraga Ben's the same. Yeah, Spraga Ben's you know? So, you, you, you know, I, I'm just saying this for my co-workers to know that you're not bigger than me and I'm not bigger than you. Mm -hmm. It's a giant effort bring forth it. Wow. But I and one more thing, Go remember ahead. that every big artist or big producer was a young artist or a mm -hmm. young producer. That's right. That's so true. So respect the craft. That's real. I agree. I remember when Buja Banton came home, right? And they had a big, big dance, right? Yeah. Long walk to freedom. E <laughs> yes. And <laughs> you performed at that killed show. It. I killed it. Tell me about that experience and how and how big that was for Budja because you and Budja is really really good friends. Yeah. So tell me about um, that event and how was it for him because I I saw it but you were backstage with him. Yes. Yes. So yes. tell me about that. Um. Um. I did the journey with Budja mm -hmm. while he was behind bars. I, I was a friend that visited him regular. Right. So when he came out and the show was put together and I, I, find, I found out that I was a part of this show, I was feeling ecstatic. Mm -hmm. you know, I felt great because um, I, I knew that the audience were going to come on the show there. They were going to be my audience as well because we are from that era. Mm -hmm. So when I got my time and... Everything I know, I know, I know, I know I, I was going to kill it. And I know Bojo Bantan was going to get a well-received show mm -hmm. because the people love Bojo Bantan. He Extremely. made great music. Mm -hmm. You know, and when, when, when I went to the National <laughs> Stadium, that's my first time performing in the National Stadium. Was it? Yeah. Wow. Well, n not the first time, like, a show, but, you know, but when football, like football match, I keep, we used to go, they go sing a little one song, but right. I'm talking about a... a, 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 a Big performance. Big performance. Right. Um, with this magnitude, this m big massive, mm -hmm. you know, and um, over thirty thousand people. That was great. Mm -hmm. And to to watch back the video and, and and when I look at myself to see that all these people rocking with me, I felt great. And that is one of my best show in Jamaica. <laughs> Awesome. Wow. But backstage with Bujido, I want to get what was he saying to you? How did he feel about that event? Because that was his first performance after coming out of prison. And I want to tell you, say, to all, to all the, the, the vibe was hectic with Bujo. 
men him not really get for verbal a lot because he was surrounded by a lot of people mm -hmm. and I know he was more focused on getting on the stage to do what he got to do. Okay. So we never really verbal a lot. But okay. him boom off my fist. I say yo good job you see it? Okay. and that's good and um my next my next um great performance in Jamaica because I, I did some fest I did all these great shows was um Rebel Salute last year. Wow. Uh, what the fuck Rebel Salute this year. This year. Re okay. Rebel Salute twenty twenty four. I did I did a great job. <laughs> And you know, the people them say you're going on with this. So, so that's your pride and joy right now. No, I, I, I love to perform on, on, on festivals mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm more mature now. I like to get booked for a festival where I can put my show together and go give them a great performance where the people them can actually say, yo, me never know say, that you did it so great. Because mm -hmm. majority of the songs that songs that are, are, are sung on the show some people hear it but they never know how me do it because mm -hmm. as I told you earlier me not like the spotlight right. wow, let me ask you I want to ask you about um, your trip to Africa jeez mm -hmm. did you did you uh, did you did you perform in Africa yes I perform in Africa what, what okay how was that performing in Africa versus performing in, in the United the States US or, or Jamaica, Jamaica. alright first if them invite you to them country, you yeah, go on with something. Wow. If somebody invite you anywhere, something will go on over there. So my first trip to Africa was Nigeria. And it was great. Um, the people loved me there, you know. And then I went to Gambia with Fersian. And um, the vibe was crazy also. You know, I've been to Australia. I've been to Japan. I've been, to, I've been all over. And once... A promoter invite you to their country. You got something going on there. Hey, so they already asking for you. Yes. Wow. So it's already pre kind of it's already a, a, a thing where it's set to go. You have music they call it. with them want That's they right. Want, they they want, want you. They, they, they want to see you. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How would you describe Delhi Ranks and what sets you apart from everybody else? Delhi Ranks are compete with people. Delhi Ranks is be himself, a humble human being, always trying to help somebody. Because Granny tell me, say, if you forget where you're coming from, you have nowhere you're going. And I remember when I never used to have anything. I remember when I only have one pants, see, and three shirt. So I wear my pants, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, with a shirt, them, and wash it, and put it behind the fridge. See, I put it behind the fridge so it could have drive, so I continue the journey. And now the Lord helped me to help people. So I'm just helping people. I'm just being humble with my craft, you know, and I'm always willing to work and any work me I do. If I not put in 100% tonight, I not do it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.